happy autumn from the Hudson Valley and welcome to Madame Brett Park. Let's take a walk in. Now my uh, intentions of visiting uh, Beacon in this area is to find the waterfalls and I was told that they are in this area. But what an entrance. Signs for the scenic beacon developments. No dumping. Violators will be prosecuted. But this is, uh, people are still pulling up, so it looks like that there would be a park open. But since we are in Beacon, it appears to be a redevelopment time for this area of the Hudson Valley of I Love New York. Uh, let's check out some of the art. And this is referred to as the Williamsburg of the Hudson Valley, according to the folks from uh, Duchess Tourism. They were at the Jacob K. Javits Convention Center for the New York Times Travel Show. And uh, they told me a lot of great things about Beacon. I gotta say, there is a lot to do. I've already strolled Main Street and uh, pumpkin ice cream. It's autumn, so I was happy to see that as well there is uh, a place to get donuts where they are uh, putting what looks like ice cream toppings and you could get a deluxe donut i might add uh, that looks quite decadent uh, not really a <laughs> welcome sign here in beacon uh, it, it is a official yes it is the go home sign no i will not Actually, this is home. Um, I love New York. Born in New York. So I am home. All right, I see some more official, uh, more official signs here. And I hear the waterfall. Now, I was told uh, when I looked this up online to put it in the parking lot. And that is how you will find the GPS on how to get to this location. Uh, Madam Brett Park. And here it is. Welcome to Madame Brett Park, a scenic Hudson Park, 12 acre park, offers exciting opportunities to admire nature's wonders. And I gotta say the ride here to Beacon, quite beautiful, as it is the sixth week of autumn foliage in I Love New York. And there it is. I can hear the water now. What is the best way for us to get over there? Well, let's hike, let's hike through. Let's hike ourselves through and see if we could see one of these beautiful waterfalls of Beacon, New York. This is again, the Hudson Valley. Getting here was quite easy. Got on the Metro North train at Grand Central Station, 42nd Street in New York City. Uh, went past ever beautiful Bear Mountain region, West Point Academy in Highland, New York, Tarrytown for the legend of Sleepy Hollow. And one more stop and I would have been uh, at Poughkeepsie where the walkway over the Hudson is. I could start to see some of what I came here for. There is Yes, beautiful waterfalls in Beacon, New York. Now, uh, this is not the only season to be in Beacon. Kayaking is a popular thing to do here. As well, there is a cruise that goes out and I did see some abandoned what look like castles in my route here on the Metro North. Uh, so that could be where your cruise takes you. But if you are coming in some ah, beautiful views, there we are. If you are coming in summertime, the signs do read. There it is. Where is? There it is. No, no swimming. And I see some people strolling along. I'm glad we went left. And this appears to be the way to arrive. And again, this is my. Uh, first time here so we are all seeing this ah 
how beautiful. There it is, discovered. Uh, how far is the hike here from the Metro North train station? I know it's hard to tell because I walked through Beacon. I uh, spent most of the afternoon enjoying myself in this beautiful city. Maybe it took me an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get over here. And let's get some beautiful water views. Now, one of the things that I learned while visiting New York, the Niagara Falls region, is that at a waterfall, uh, the water droplets that go into the air, they produce negative ions, which produce a positive feeling of elation, joy, and love in the body, uh, which is how Niagara Falls be originally became a uh, honeymoon destination. So am I feeling elation and joy? Yes, I am very happy. Uh, to be here in Beacon and thank you to the folks uh, from Dutchess County Travel and Tourism for taking the time out to head over to the Jacob Javits Center for the New York Times Travel Show to let people know a little bit more about Beacon. Now this doesn't say closed um, so let's take, <laughs> let's take a walk. Again it looks like uh, Beacon is in very much in a redevelopment stage I heard Beacon at one time was a place that people did not want to visit. I can't imagine why. It's actually the nature here is so prevalent and it couldn't have just grown in over the last year or two. Uh, so I see so many things that are beautiful about this area that I think that may have been a misguided statement. We're getting closer, getting closer. Yes, we are walking our way right over and I do see another footpath. What I did see on my way over here was a bamboo grove. Speaking of relaxation, I did walk in. I love the sound of wind blowing through a bamboo grove. Ooh, I like that there are no gates here and no do not enter signs. It looks like we can walk right up. All right, should I say that I've gone rock climbing in the Hudson Valley now that I have climbed out on the rocks? Water quality, very clear. Love it. And sometimes when you're at a place where there water is running and the leaves are rotting it smells like water and I must say this smells like fresh air Hudson Valley fresh air we're almost there by the way happy to have my Hudson Valley shirt on today repping apple picking season you know, this is so beautiful that it really looks like something you would see in an amusement park. Speaking of amusement parks, we are not far from Rye, New York. Amusement parks in the Empire State. Now, how am I going to do this? Let's figure this one out. Yep. Well, we're here. There it is. The view of all... What's up there? I find birds. Okay. The thunderous roar.
bet you didn't expect that. That is the waterproof camera view. And I'm feeling the elation, the joy, and the love for the Hudson Valley. Until next time, happy autumn! Happy autumn from Never Beautiful Beacon. I love New York.